Hey YouTube, Bearded Bristol is here with another Scotch for the Common Man. It is a chilly winter evening here in the Midwest, so I wanted a nice new Scotch to warm me up from the inside out. And boy, have I been missing out on something. At least that's what the bottle tells me. I have picked up a bottle here of Highland Queen. This again, I, I love it when I can say this is a new to me scotch because when you've been drinking scotch, especially the cheap stuff, for 25 years or more now, uh, when you run across something new, it's kind of fun. So I, I found this particularly intriguing because we have here Highland Queen. Still unopened. Um, a true legend since 1561. You mean this is legend, wait for it, dairy? The legend since 1561, which is weird because I've never heard of it until about mm, two weeks ago. Uh, nevertheless, not had this before, and I do not mean to pick too heavily at the Highland Queen, and I will struggle through the really, really small printing in... Mm, medium gray on a beige background so here's a tip to all of you out there in the scotch company marketing world your core audience is older than this guy and this guy struggles reading the fine print so maybe let's let's font that up just a bit distill some of the flowery language and make the words bigger uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just, I had to do that because since 1561, Mary Queen of Scots has embodied the enduring and noble values, history and independent spirit of Scotland. This exceptional, smooth, full-flavored, British spelling of flavored, by the way, Scotch whiskey still bears today the name of Mary Queen of Scots, the Highland Queen. Quote, the result will leave, woof, the result we leave with confidence to your judgment. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I'm about to judge away. 40% alcohol by volume. Uh, this bottle was right at 30 US dollars in the Midwest here, and I'm about to uh, pop off the cork. Ah, yes. The crisp, clean sound of tin breaking away from the uh, tin. Yep, here we go. Hmm. I, I'm gonna say smooth on the nose because it's barely detectable, but that's okay. It's, you know, fresh out of the bottle. Ah, no plastic pour spout, do with that what you will. Uh, <laughs> either they could not afford it or they figured with such a small bottle at 750, not small bottle, but uh, with a standard bottle, such a frill was not necessary. It does have a nice glug, glug, glug out of the bottle. Whether or not that is indicative of the flavor, we will soon find out. Mm. <sighs> Dare I say nondescript at this stage. Okay, hmm. Spice, there, there's a spice there. I've got a little burn going down. I can live with that. Does not coat or film the glass particularly well. Uh, you know, that's a thing for me if you've watched more than, I don't know, half a video. But, um, 
this is kind of, eh, I, I don't know, I, I, very nondescript. And that's, I, I apologize to the Queen Majesty herself. Uh, she's been legend, wait for it, dairy since 1561. I think maybe there's a little dust on the bottle. I, I, I don't know. We're going to give it another shot here. It's smooth. Um, it's refreshing. Uh, as it goes toward distinctive flavoring, other than a, a little bit of smoke and a nice alcohol kind of just burn, it's not offensive, it's not overpowering, it warms, it warms the soul. So it's got that going for it. Four stars from the Warming the Soul Department of Scotch Tasting. Um, picking out individual flavors in this is really difficult. Uh, if, if you set this up next to a bourbon or a gin or a pick your booze, you would definitely guess it to be a scotch. So I guess from that department that's an also win it's it's a scotch it's a blended scotch it just very tame um nondescript again i i won't i won't out and out say bland because it does hmm still warm on the fuzzy on the inside but not really a lingering aftertaste either so i still can't say you know, sometimes you, you can say there's a definite butterscotch or citrus or peat or smoke lingering something, something. Um, it's a scotch. Do with that what you will. Try not to piss off the Highland Queen. Uh, I, I hope not to find a horse's head in the bed next to me when I wake up tomorrow <laughs> because this is not the most flowery of reviews that I have given. It's, it's not a terrible scotch. I'm not saying that at all. I have definitely had worse, but it just, I, I, would, I would say it this way. It doesn't do anything particularly well. But it also doesn't do anything particularly badly. That said, watch a couple other videos. Find something that I actually smile about in a non-joking way and try that instead. I am not the world's foremost scotch connoisseur. I am but a common man. But this is a very common scotch. It's what it is. I'm sorry. I, I love giving good reviews to good scotches. The end. <laughs>